Hi, I'm Kirsten Quinn, your host of the Philadelphia Cultural Forum on CCP-TV, Community College of Philadelphia's educational channel, Emmy-nominated, that is, educational channel. Tonight we have with us the Hourglass, an amazingly talented group of musicians, including Jessica Brust, Andre DiMuzio, and Chris Hendricks. They're going to be performing a concert for us, just for us. So please check them out and enjoy the show. Okay, great. So we are the Hourglass, and uh, we began our humble beginnings in North Carolina, where we met at Elon University together. My name is Jessica Brust. I'm vocals, violin, and the occasional arranger. Right. Um, I'm Andre DiMuzio. I, uh, I produce the music uh, in the Hourglass. Um, I'm the keyboardist, guitarist, uh, other vocalist, I suppose. Okay. Um, and uh, yeah, met at Elon, and our third member today is our uh, our guest, special guest. Plus one. I'm Chris Hendricks, and uh, I sneak into groups of really talented people who are better than me at things, better, better than me at, at music. Yeah, Chris and I, we actually are part of a, a different band called Castle Wild, um, and uh, so we'll be doing a couple of those songs tonight as well, today. Sometimes I play guitar and sing a little bit for the hourglass. <laughs> like every time we gig. Right. So back in uh, 2011, um, Jess and I, we well, all of us had graduated uh, college at that point. Um, and uh, Jess and I sort of started making it a habit over the summers when I'd visit the States um, to get together and record cover songs and record just songs in general. And... Uh, I think it was, what, 2012, that when I came to visit you, um, I, I brought a song uh, called Snow in April, and um, we ended up uh, recording it, you know, within the day. And uh, it's our first song, so it's, we find it fitting that it be the first song that we play now. So... Indeed. It is also worth mentioning Andre has a special talent known as psychic songwriting in which he oh, writes right, songs yeah. Yeah. and then they become true a few years down the line and it's a little bit uncanny, but to the word, this uh, song happened right, because did, Andre yeah. predicted the future. <laughs> which is why I, we, we keep saying I should write a song called The Hourglass Makes a Bunch of Money. <laughs> <laughs> You finally stopped when you finally stopped running You'd been hiding from this place And all the vanishing years, oh, the vanishing years Oh, how they fall You'd been watching the race with your heart set in flames And now you called And I answered time under the grayest sky said all the things we knew we should and the clock stopped ticking and the world stopped turning I was reeling I was reaching around just to find up and down was I even breathing when you touched my face and said sorry for making me If I had known better, I'd have told you better never than late. But were you trying to prove you gave me so much to lose? So when I break, it's a long familiar cracks that have finally been put back together. How I wanted it, how I wanted it to last forever. Told me this is the start. 
heart did you know you wouldn't try that you would give me a day before you took it away because you threw my world off track all the scenery changed like it was snowing in april but it mounted just as fast you might as well have been rain i should have told you better never than We're better apart with the pieces of my heart kept away. Do you know what you did? Do you know what you did to me? You were snowing in April. You were snowing in April. Do you know what you did? Do you know what you did to me? So this next tune is a tune that Andre wrote, known as Satellite. And it's coming up on our first full-length album that we are in the middle of recording right now. And um, <clears throat> working with Andre as a producer is a little bit like working with Mozart and that he <laughs> always has new ideas that just kind of fly out of his head every two or three measures into the music. And so, yeah. It's fun. We have a lot of ideas floating around, and as as you know, the dust settles, then we kind of see what form the music takes. And this is the recent twist that Satellite has become. Yeah. For us. Yeah, it's uh, it's actually was originally um, I, I didn't write it specifically as an hourglass song. Um, I just kind of wanted to write something that was a little more kind of, I guess, country bluesy sounding. Um, but uh, like all things, you know, it, things never turn out the way you, you think they're going to turn out. Um, and uh, yeah, it turned out to actually be kind of like a fun duet for us to sing. Um, so yeah, this is Satellite. Swept me off my feet and out of range. Oh, my little satellite, reach a little deeper into the great unknown. Your fingers should feel of what's wrong and what's real. That in the dark you've always been. Here stands your soul Here stands your soul Round and round it goes oh, My body bathed in You dare, oh, with birds, but don't you care? I'm reaching out to watch your wings ignite. I'm reaching out to watch your dreams ignite.
been trying to set you right. Your dreams ignite. I'm only here to watch your wings ignite. All right, so th this next piece is a combination of two songs, both written by Andre. Um, the first one is called The Fall, and it is the second track on our EP, which is called Overland Overseas. We'll talk more about that later. But um, this particular track features Andre exceptionally well in his production brain. All of the, um, <laughs> the shorts and stops that he is able to pull with it. And so then we were presented with the obstacle of how do we perform this song when we are actually doing it live? So we kind of put our heads together. We kind of, I don't know, maybe punched some pillows at night. <laughs> and, then, um, and then we came up with, hey, why don't we give the meat of the song like this? And how lovely does it segue into another song that Andre wrote? Uh, called Traffic. Um, and that one, uh, so uh, in addition to The Hourglass and Castle Wild, uh, I uh, make music of my own as well under the uh, moniker Odd Cardinal. Uh, and Traffic is actually one of the songs for that project. Um, but yeah, the two songs seem to segue so well from one to the other that um, uh, we, yeah, we, we've kind of become attached to having this little medley. Um, so yeah, so the next two songs are gonna be uh, The Fall, followed by Traffic. I am a storm, I am the sudden thunder and the rush you feel your soul. You've lost control. You watched in quiet panic while the story slipped through your hold. So you weave the words around, 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 but you know you're going down in flames. So you can take your time, your time, your time. Brace yourself for the collide.
tried finding my keys in the dark, hoping the engine would start upright, hoping this turn would let your heart ignite. And I drove, needing to be by your side, hoping something better could drive me the treacherous roads that collide in you and the world soon stop passing and I got lost in trap Trying to embrace what we'd learned to hide Trying to escape and leave the worst behind And I thought there was room in this house for two Never stopping to notice how you withdrew Never stopping to see the divide in This uh, next song we're about to do is uh, one of the more bluesier tunes, honestly. Um, it's called Bullet. And uh, it's about the darker side of a relationship um, with a little, uh, a little courage, um, uh, a little, um, shall we call it, uh, gumpsha thrown in. And uh, I hope you enjoy our version of the blues. This is uh, one of the first songs that Andre and I wrote together as uh, um, when Castle Wild was originally a, a duo, and we've expanded since then, and Jess has been a guest many a time, so yeah. I'm really appreciative to uh, be a part of her entity as well. So anyway, uh, this is called Bullet. Hope you like it.
pull that hammer back and pull you in my chest. And you're so hard to remove, babe. Zoos under attack, my insides are a mess. I've been to a doctor and I've been to a priest. I've been to a sea just to give me peace. I'm taking every time I can, I said every prayer. Looking for the truth, but the truth's not there. Seems I have done all I can do. Seems you have done all you can do. Seems they have done all they can do. I'm dying with or without you. You'll still see me through the hole you left in me. And I can never be old, broken. The chamber's empty, only God can set me free. I've been to a doctor and I've been to a priest. I've been to a sea just to give me peace. I've taken every time I can, I've said every prayer. Looking for the truth, but the truth is not there. Seems I have done all I can do. Seems you have done all you can do. Seems they have done all they can do. Seems God has done all he can do. I'm dying. With So this next one is a power ballad in three, a, huh. in, a composition inspired by jazz, written by Andre. And before he called Odd Cardinal, Odd Cardinal, he had recorded this right. project, or this tune as part of that project. And I asked him special permission if we could do a version for the Hourglass. So and, uh, the, the Hourglass tur version turned out way better <laughs> than, uh, than the original. <laughs> Um, but uh, it's, it's, again, one of those interesting um, sort of, um, what, what is the word for it when things like just line, synchronicity? Yes. Um, that uh, the song is called Melbourne, uh, the Australian city. And uh, I had uh, a love moved th move there. And uh, later it turned out Jess had one as well. So, wait, was it Melbourne? It was Sydney. Ah, close enough. <laughs> <laughs> Close <laughs> enough. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. um, uh, let's see. Oh, well, so another actually, thing. When wait. my ship went to Melbourne, the first thing I did when I got off the pier, you know, you go walk into the city. The first thing that I saw as I stepped onto the street was an hourglass store. You know that I think it's a, oh, yeah. a brand of watches or something oh, right, like yeah. that. And and but literally, I stepped off in Melbourne. We had just released the EP. And uh, there was the hourglass right in front of my face. <laughs> and I was like, oh, wow. <laughs> they know. <laughs> uh, what was the other thing? Oh, yeah, the, the, the title from this, the Overland, uh, Overland Overseas, the title of the EP comes from this song uh, because this is about, you know, long distance pining. <laughs> <laughs> Stretching years, I was weak in the knees for you. 
Call it love, call it all, all over. I feel you, I need you, but you never looked twice. For a time, I could not. Knowing you weren't for me Like a man colorblind in a rainbow world If only, if only You'd forget I was me You'd forget I was me seemed right for me but it's not in myself to be for you but somehow it worked out we began singing high singing more till that day I confessed you confessed and so Such a wonder had gone over land overseas and I find that sometimes I go catch a plane in my sleep to find you he's
So this is another song in three. And uh, it's um, the intenser side of love yet again. I should probably pick a different subject to write about every <laughs> once in a while. Is there another? Touche. Um, but uh, this is another Castle Wild tune, and it's actually going to be the the first track off of our new full-length album that's uh, right. about to come out. I think everything's done pretty much except for mastering. Yeah, so that's all that's left, yeah. Um, definitely going to be let yeah, you so guys follow know. our actually follow any of our facebook yeah groups yeah yeah find us on the on the various things yeah you should hear them talking like you're not around they say that you're dancing somewhere underground near a silly marble stone not a bragging man but i would not believe you would just cross over Inside my lungs, the rhythm in the dark, the beating of my heart, 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 I'm holding on to hope, I'm holding on to lies, I'll hold on to anything that keeps us alive, but you would rather leave, where your soul is going, I die to come along, me here, you there, my God, it feels so the pulse inside my veins the space inside my lungs the rhythm in the dark the beat All right, so the next song is uh, track four off of our uh, first EP. Um, and uh, this is another one that I 
initially wrote for an old project uh, and then uh, you know, brought it to Jess and then we messed around with it and made it something better. He does that a lot. He brings <laughs> me lot. his songs and he goes, fix it. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of times if I have a I song like, that okay. I, just, I don't have a direction for it or uh, mm -hmm. I'm not happy with what I, my voice did to it, um, you know, the uh, missing element is always, ah, Jess's voice. That's right. That makes sense. That's a good fallback plan. Yeah. All right, ready? to say like an ordinary girl head down letting you all head the way that you won't come night I study the hundreds of days that I let the mother speak sometimes it's hard to pity a fool a fool like me Something has broken my heart And it's unforgivable Right through my skin And bones This might be my mind trying to say That it's time to lie into me To console this fool The fool I've been And how many times have I said tonight to say and climb all over me one day i'll find it in me to do to do something you might never know how i feel and that's how i want it to be and i'll watch you leave a fool like me and how many times have i said tonight tonight's the night and how many times can a life break down before it stops a final time and how do i know if this is just my show Um, so yeah, so the next song um, is the uh, last song on our EP, um, poss possibly our f maybe our favorite one. Um, this is this is a, a good example of uh, Jess's arranging skills. <laughs> um, I presented the song to her as a very straightforward pop rock song, you know, four four times straight. Um, she sat with it for probably a few minutes, and uh, she just turns to me and says, uh, "How about a tango?" And um, I sort of looked at her like she was crazy, but it actually worked as a tango. So uh, this song is called Starlight in Your Room, and uh, we'll close off with this one today. <clears throat> Close and clockwork. 
work strewn across the weary floor and bed and darkness. I feel my way along and grip your hand no sound. something we had never thought we'd be inside this world we fall apart
this moment and this feeling will be gone too. So thank you guys so much for being here tonight on uh, the Philadelphia Cultural Forum. Um, you guys are so talented. You have such a unique sound. And you. you're thank welcome. You. And I'd like, I'd like to talk to each one of you a little bit and then the group as a whole. But I just wanted to say first off that whenever a, a musical group comes on the show, it's, it's such a, a special thing for us here at, at PCF because we get to see a concert, basically. We, we get to see all of you perform in the format that you would if you were doing a gig, I think. And so that's really special to us. And so I want to thank you. Thank you for being here and doing that. It was fun. It was a pleasure for us. Yeah. For sure. yeah. thank it was you. a joy. It was amazing. We liked it more than you. <laughs> I doubt <laughs> it. I doubt it. I was sitting out there trying to be quiet while you all were performing and not like, you know, furiously applauding after each song. <laughs> oh. I also like the way you describe the songs to us. I thought that that was really great. But I wanted to find out from you guys in our, in our short interview um, how you guys came together as a group. And then I'll talk to each one of you a little bit about yourselves and, and the other things that you do and, and where you guys come from and, and what your backgrounds are. Is that cool? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Okay, cool. awesome. So um, how, did, how did the hourglass form? Where, where did this uh, idea come from and... and uh, how did that happen? I think most of the stories tonight um, between the three of us are all going to kind of stem around Elon University yeah. because okay. we all went there. Right. Um, and that's where we all met each other. Mm -hmm. um, the, uh, we, you know, we, we did music and stuff, you know, together in college, usually via jazz band. Um, we were both in, involved in some jazz classes. Uh, Chris and I were in a rock band. Uh, My first band. Actually. Yeah, that's right. Nice. That's right. Um, and then uh, we kind of all went our separate ways after college. Um, and I moved back to Tokyo. Um, you stayed in North Carolina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but I moved back to Raleigh anyway. Right, yeah. Okay. Um, and then you went... I ended up in Raleigh, too. You were in Raleigh as well. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, and then, yeah, it was it was like fast forward a, a couple of years. Um, and then uh, I, I, was, I was still flying to the States for the summers, mm -hmm. um, as I'd been doing since I was, you know, born. Um, and uh, so I started staying with Jess uh, when, when, when I'd fly in because her house was really close to the airport. Um, and so she graciously let me crash on her couch uh, many times. Um, and uh, we, yeah, like, I think we just kind of started discussing the idea of recording some songs together. Mm -hmm. um, well, I don't know. I, I was frustrated with some circumstances in my life, personal and musically professional. Mm -hmm. We were just driving. We'd probably... I don't know. We were probably planning on drinking a little bit later, you know, just kind of like, just forget all of it. And um, and I was like, I want to do. I don't really know why my anger provoked this thought, but I just I just said, I want to do a reggaeton version of Adele's "Rolling in the Deep." Yeah, that's and right, Andrew that's was right. like, Okay, great, cool. <laughs> so like you do. yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, it so was, and it was, and we did it like what, like uh, was it eleven at night or something like in that? In your kitchen. Twenty-four hours. Yeah, yeah, it was in her kitchen, and I remember um, that we didn't actually have a microphone stand, so <laughs> I, I literally stood in front of her with the microphone uh, while we recorded that. And at um, the beginning, he goes, "Okay, so we'll just take this, you know, section by section." And in my head, it was like, I don't know why we would take it section by section. <laughs> I perform it. All I was the time. used. I was used to singers needing to do a verse, then you know, yeah. but uh, yeah, I, like I said, I'd stop it. When I thought it needed to be stopped, so for us to fix something, I didn't stop it the entire way through. She like just nailed it from start to finish, and I'm like, all right, yep. <laughs> and and there it is. Wonder. That's One the take, take that's on yeah. it. And then we kind of were like, so uh, if we're this sufficient, maybe we should definitely work together. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and then yeah, and so uh, we we didn't have a name or anything at the time. I don't think uh, we just kind of started throwing ideas back and forth about like you know the kind of music we might do. Right. Um, and then during the next year, when I was working in Tokyo again, uh. um, I wrote a song called "Snow in April" mm -hmm. and um, sent it over. And uh, which she was really the dug first it, song? Which was the first song we did together. Yeah. Uh, that was an original. Um, 
And uh, yeah, I think that summer we recorded Snow in April and The Fall, um, which I taught to you. Yep. Section That one we did section by section because I taught it to her as we made the recording. Yeah, he didn't um, send that to me. Because I didn't send you dance. anything. I, I, I like wrote it on the day. He's so. like, here's one sentence and the right. melody that goes with it. Um, yep. And so, yeah, so that's 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 how Hourglass started. That was like the beginning of, of the project. And so we continued to, you know, stay in touch while she went on cruise ships. She worked on yep. cruise liners. Um, and uh, I was still kind of moving around. And uh, so whenever we'd find ourselves in the same spot, which was pretty rare, yeah. usually I'd drag along my microphone and my computer and some equipment, and we would try to get something down. Um, and uh, that, was, that was how our first EP resulted. Yeah. That's fantastic. What a great story. Um, so I'm going to ask each of you about your musical influences. Um, and if, if that comes into play when you're writing, um, or if it's just something that is inside of you. Um, so let me talk to you first, Chris. What, what are your musical influences? Who do you, who do you go to to be inspired by? Uh, I'm pretty all over the place. Um, so my, my dad was a country um, performer. Okay. And um, he didn't write any of his own material, but I used to uh, crawl out of my... Uh, my little my bed at like four year four or five years old because yeah. um, he would have these little parties out on decks uh, out on our deck mm -hmm. and um, I just I would bear witness to him just mesmerizing a crowd and, you know making them laugh just being full on uh, entertainer of the year right. you know um, <laughs> Love it. and then he would bust out um, these sort of swoon uh, country tunes. Mm -hmm. And um, it got to the point where, so one of his um, one of his staples was a song called Amy by the Pure Prairie League, which is um, old school 90s country. Mm -hmm. And it got to the point where if he didn't uh, play the song, I'd get really pissed. Um, <laughs> and, I, and I wouldn't go to sleep. Right. And because uh, I, I became Beware sort of, of addicted. Of right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I became addicted to um, those harmonies. So it started out. Um, I started out getting really heavily influenced by country just via my dad. Yeah. Um, and then that sort of, that shifted. I went from like Vince Gill uh, to James Taylor, mm. very, very sing, uh, yeah. singer songwriter. Right. Um, and these days I'm still heavy singer songwriter uh, influenced. I love like Noah Gunderson stuff. I don't know if you ever heard of him. Yes. Um, he did the soundtrack for Sons of Anarchy mm -hmm. and a bunch of other TV stuff. Yeah. Um, but I also love anyone who's willing to get a little weird. Um, yeah. I, I love uh, Gautier's stuff okay. uh, for that very reason. And, yeah. I, and I'm also, I have a soft spot for um, uh, 90s R&B. So like okay. Usher and uh, Mariah yeah. Carey and stuff like that. So, and for some reason, I take all of that and pour it into my songwriting and it becomes Chris somehow. And it is Chris. I mean, it's, it's like nobody else, you know? And I think that's what, Absolutely, yeah. that's what an artist wants to be and aims to be. Um, okay, so how about you, Jess? Um, influences, anything you want to tell us? I know you worked on cruise ships, you've been in bands, you do opera, uh, you've got a lot going on, and yeah. also done plays, musicals. Yeah. Uh, so if you had to pick somebody that would be one of your influences, who would it be? I know that's, hard. Oh, that's a hard question. Just narrow it down. I suppose if I were to have to pick one person that were physically capable of fitting all of those genres under her umbrella of ability, I would probably have to choose Sarah Vaughn. Yeah. And she just, she had one of those instruments that was, it's ageless. Yeah. It's youthful, yet it's completely wise. It's, mm -hmm. um, strong yet buoyant mm. and dynamic and it's just the colors that she can create and her phrasings her depth of uh, um emotional expression the spectrum that she can cover on all fronts is just astounding and she could have done opera she had that instrument and the ability to make that tone and she uses it frequently in her records but she doesn't stick to it she's like i don't have to stay here if i don't wanna i'm sarah vaughn i make my decisions and um sounds like you i mean yeah yeah i mean i wish <laughs> yeah this i would apple say that fell from <laughs> that the tree best, because in the it did yeah, land yeah. close yeah well and the worst way too so um. <laughs> i don't know about that 
Well. Okay. And so how about you, Andre? We'll, we'll finish up here because I... Uh, we got to see, hear so much of your music. That was the main main thing for this. Sure. So this um, is just a, this is just me learning about you and <laughs> loving it. Um, well, I I didn't actually like get into any bands for a long time. Um, I wasn't really a fan of music. My parents like made me play violin, you know, when I was little. Right. Um, you know, Asian, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> and um, I I but I didn't really like any like rock music or anything like that. The first thing that really caught my eye was Blue by Eiffel 65. Mm. Um, and I was like, what is that instrument that's playing? What is that be -de -de sound? Mm -hmm. um, and I learned it was a synthesizer. And um, pretty much most of my influences for the first several years are like all electronic. Um, nice. Daft Punk. Um, I discovered Depeche Mode around that time. And right. they, they have always since then been my favorite band and my number one influence. Um, but, you know, there are other artists like Sufjan Stevens, mm -hmm. um, you know, people who are just so incredible with their songwriting. Like he's, he's one, uh, Bjork, mm -hmm. um, Love Bjork, you know, yeah. Like I, I, uh, I try, I try to keep, um, as, as open a mind as possible when it comes to, um, influences because I, I work with a lot of, you know, great talented musicians from so many different genres. Yeah. Um, and, uh, so I, f I always feel like there's something to absolutely love you know, in any genre that you're, yeah. that you're looking into. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if I was, if I was to choose one, it would have to be Depeche Mode. I, okay. can't, I can't lie. Yeah. That's great. What a, what a very <laughs> yeah. <of> influences. <laughs> that's why, that's why you guys are so unique. Thank you guys so much for being here. We really oh, appreciate it. Thank you for it. having us. Yeah, Your incredible talents. It. Um, please look out for the hourglass. Also look out for their upcoming album. You guys are online. You have a website, I know. Yeah. Um, and you, you also have Hourglass on that website. Yes, That's I great. Do. Yeah. Um, but look them up, check them out. Uh, they're a great band, as you saw tonight. And it's been great having you. Thank you again. Thank you. And Our pleasure. Thank I will, you. Thank you. I will be seeing you soon, maybe. You yeah, know, that'd be great. Uh, I hope so. Maybe on a, a big stage somewhere, you know. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. You know, or, or a small one. When we make it in Dallas. Right? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Make when you become Dallas. gazillionaires, let us know. <laughs> Absolutely. So Absolutely. Absolutely. We'll be show. telling the world. <laughs> exactly. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thanks. And this has been the Philadelphia Cultural Forum on CCP-TV, Community College of Philadelphia's educational channel. Thank you all and good night.